Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Going to take a look and see at your weekend love messages, see what comes up for you. Um, this is a channel for Virgos, Virgos only, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. So let's check and see what your weekend love energies are. Please excuse the sound of my voice. Um, I have a little chest cold of some sort, so kind of like having a hard time. I don't know what's going on, but it's been happening all day and um, I'm going to do this reading and then just go relax. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. So we're going to do some love energies, whatever shows up, love, career, finance, all that stuff. It'd be a little bit a little bit of a short reading for this weekend, but we'll be for um, from the time you hear it all the way in through Monday. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What messages do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, wow, that's a new one. So you've got twin flames here. Okay, twin flame energy showing up this weekend. Yin, Yang, Zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. Okay, interesting. Hope you can see this. I'm trying to bring more light onto the scene here. Okay, so definitely a twin flame connection showing up over the weekend here, or recognition of twin flame energy. Okay, clock, need time, take time in time cycles, time to heal and progress. Okay, hmm, divine timing with this twin flame. Okay, and a mask, not showing true feelings, hiding personality, or personify, pretend, deluding, someone's pretending. Um, okay, there's an energy of pretending about a twin flame connection. Is this a twin flame connection? Um, you could be, you could be the one in this position, like um, maybe denying it. Okay, you could be denying it. Maybe you know deep in your heart, but maybe you start denying that this is a twin flame connection, because for some of you, something is just perhaps not you know, happening in the connection that there's nothing going on, okay? But I feel like um, there's a mask coming off about a connection. I, can you hear my voice? I'm like so, it's like, um, <laughs> it doesn't want to work right. <laughs> and I pride my voice when I talk, so bear with me. Um, I feel like over this weekend, um, There's going to be like a healing energy in regards to someone who has or two people who have been wearing a mask like these are twins two people who have been masking towards each other one's pretending everything's fine the other's been super upset neither one has been showing true feelings this is 100 percent twin flame connection there's going to be some progress made over the weekend with whomever you um recognize as being your twin flame let me see. What else do you have here? All right, there you go. You keep getting this card. Winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. Okay, so there's definitely a change on the horizon here with a twin flame. Let me see what else is going on. And listen, you guys, I have this little light here, but it's actually a diffuser. And it's, or is it an infuser? Diffuser? It's got steam coming out of it. So just so you know, I'm doing my best here to take care of my my throat some kind of chest cold okay the king authority and diplomacy okay so you've got somebody showing up here this weekend male or female energy coming in with this king energy here this could be an aries for some of you your twin flame is an aries or there's like a mars ruled so i think mars ruled would be aries also scorpio um, but authority and diplomacy. Somebody here has taken the lead. Who's going to take, make an, uh, be initiating something here over the weekend for you or with you? You won't have to do anything. Somebody's going to take the lead. Okay. The spirit, unseen forces are watching over you. Wow. And the black cat, your luck will soon change. Wow, Virgo. Some serious energy playing out here. All right. Let's get into. I'm going to use a different deck tonight. Let me see here. Okay. Let's see what these messages are here playing out. What else does Virgo need to know 
this twin flame connection, you're definitely going to be seeing some changes happening here over this weekend. All right, let's see. Whoop. We're going to get some hot tea when I'm finished here. Hot tea with lemon, maybe some honey. Okay, yep, initiation. Somebody's taking initiative here this weekend to bring in some growth, okay? Um, a little boom boom action happening for some of you. <laughs> okay. Yep, somebody's taking a risk. There's travel involved. We have Aquarius energy here. Somebody's going to show up. Oh my gosh, you got the four of wands. Foundation, commitment, structure. I feel like somebody's coming in who who maybe is it's like a realization that two people are meant to be together, the yin to my yang, the yang to your yin, okay? A coupling, complementing each other, duality. There's a union happening here over this weekend, okay? Some of you might be meeting your twin flame for the first time. There's structure, celebration, some kind of party, um, a homecoming, a reunion happening here, celebration, family and friends. Virgo. Okay, oh my gosh. This is the best weekend reading ever if you're looking for romance. Here you go. Somebody's coming in here and making an offer to you, proposal of some sort. Virgo, wow, somebody's coming in. Ro very romantic. Knight of Cups energy. For some, could be a Pisces or somebody on the cusp of Pisces, Aquarius, Aquarius Pisces. All right, let me see. Goodness. Making an offer to you. Okay. They're just so exhausted. Somebody's just so exhausted. I feel like this person here is just, they're at the end of whatever they're doing, whatever some kind of struggle they've been carrying around or a burden that they've had. They're, it feels like this weekend is going to be free and they're going to come to the end of this. But there's just an energy of feeling exhausted and tired of things playing out the way they have been, have been and wanting to make a move towards you, initiating some type of, you know, like I said, offer a proposal. Okay, so you've got the King of Cups here, Cancer. I said Pisces, I said Scorpio. Okay, although this is the Pisces card, it could be a Pisces for some of you, but yeah. Somebody here has very deep feelings for you. This person has very deep feelings for you. And uh, we said the king, so this person is coming in in king energy. Um, very supportive, tolerant, empathetic. Somebody who's making a bold move. Um, powerful, charming, and courageous. Very sweet on you. Somebody here has um, very strong admiration for you and deep romantic feelings for you. Um, hmm. Uh, prince or princess charming a very romantic proposal being offered over the weekend wow okay this is a very positive that spirit saying yes they're in agreement this is a very positive energy leo energy exposure somebody's going to open up here there's success um, somebody's going to open up and reveal everything bring everything out into the light here in this um in in some type of connection might even admit, I think we're twin flames, or I, they might even say, I think we're soulmates. This is joy, happiness. Okay. Huh, somebody's breaking up with somebody, that's for sure. Okay, we have the star in the reverse. Yep, there's, there's some type of um, breakup situation. Maybe there was a third party or something. Um, but I feel like there's no healing. There's, there's something here. You might meet somebody where they say they, they've broken up with someone. It just couldn't, you know, um, it wasn't going to work out with the star in the reverse. This is like there's no hope. Um, somebody might have been very arrogant or um, ignored someone or this person's coming in. Maybe that's if this was somebody you were connecting with. Um, that was the energy that was played out and the sun is very healing. Somebody's adding a little vitamin D to the situation here, but it feels like with this, there's loss. Something is done. This past energy um, is done or whoever this person was connecting with or if they were in a relationship with someone in the past, you know, or they were also... Uh, if this was someone you were connecting with and they were cheating or there was a third party, um, this feels like coming in to communicate with you that they were ignorant and that 
they should have chosen you because you're in like such a much better position like you turned out to be better than who else they chose or you are a better option you you're a better choice like they can't believe i feel like somebody's coming in here with this admiration like they can't believe that you even exist that you are such an amazing person you know um, and they see you that way is that nine of pentacles because that's that virgo energy they see you as someone who's independent and financially stable okay someone self-sufficient you know um you have your gains um you're living your life in pleasure you're happy um or at least that's how they're viewing you you i mean some of you i know might be like saying to yourselves internally no i'm not really feeling that way but um, they see you that way. So maybe you're wearing a mask or you're presenting yourself in that that light. Okay, yeah, you're showing up here. This person, you're showing up. It looks like maybe... It's strange because they view you as kind of like you are... They view you as calm and relaxed and also withdrawn. You seem to be a bit withdrawn. You seem to be like, but renewed at the same time. You seem to have recovered or you're recovering from something. And I feel like this person, I will tell you, if they were with somebody else that's ended and they are um, single, they've healed, they've recovered from some type of a heartbreak here that just, or a bad situation that just wasn't going anywhere. It could not be healed. It could not be fixed. The star in reverse, it's like hopeless. Okay, and this person is coming in on their own healed from whatever this past heartbreak was or this past kind of loss that they may have had okay um so eight of swords energy self-imposed prisoner sabotage um there was restrictions this person was restricted and in some kind of isolation or restricted or being withheld in their life from finding true love i feel like that that energy is healing this person if you knew them from before they were self sabot they were sabotaging the connection they're not doing that anymore but they are recognizing that this is something that they did do okay this is something that they did do we have gemini energy here um also could be another virgo okay seven of wands and the three of pentacles this person's coming in um, they really want to fight to try to build something here, create something, cultivate something um, between the two of you. I feel like somebody has learned, they've been schooled, somebody's learned, learned a lesson, okay? Um, somebody is now, like, seeking help. You see, you've got, see, you got those two people there. It's like they're holding the, the blueprint, the instructions, and whoever this person is that's coming in, um, they might have been defensive before and acting like they could do everything themselves, but now they're seeking help. Um, this getting some training, or they were um, talking to others, or you know, seeking some kind of help about how to. I feel for some of you about coming back or trying to um, secure a relationship with you. Okay, if it's a past person. As far as this possibly being somebody new, you could be meeting someone who you're meeting your twin flame could be over the weekend for some of you. I mean, that's, it's just meeting somebody over the weekend. This is what I feel. Or two people present. It's like you meet at the right time. It's like you just meet at the, some of you are going to meet this person at 9, 9 p.m. For some, it's going to be 9 p.m. Um, at night. Somehow, some way, could be through like um, uh, an internet connection, talking on the internet. Some of you are going to meet this person at nine o'clock in the morning. It could be on a job. You might be at work, going to a job, um, or doing something at nine in the morning. It's something ritualistic that you that you tend to do at nine in the morning, out in the public, somehow. All right, romance angels. Okay, flirt. There's flirtation happening here. So somebody's going to be flirting with you or you're going to be flirting with them, extending lighthearted energy to others. That's how this is all going to start. There's flirtatious energy that starts here. Things are beginning to change. 
okay either you're going to be flirting with your twin flame or they are going to be flirting with you or you're going to meet someone where flirtation energy starts and then you guys like recognize each other as twin flames but not seeing anything right away okay and even if neither one of you says it that to the other there is still this energy of like oh my gosh you both realize somebody says to somebody you're the yin to my yang or you're the yang to my yin or you're the the bee to my honey or something like that <laughs> okay codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life okay this could be a uh, twin flame situation that you were in before where you guys just can't seem to get away from each other can't stay away from each other codependency or, or it could just be some person um, some it feels like some person might have had some type of um, substance addiction of some sort okay and that might have been what a third party thing is here that somebody couldn't drop the addiction um, but now it's like healing from that um, they, they couldn't get it together if you knew this person in the past they couldn't stop their um, some type of substance abuse and now they're they've put that behind them and they're healing and recovering remember I was saying there's recovery here the situation is calling for you to have faith so I feel like spirits trying to tell you you can trust slowly not right away I wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket if that's the case somebody is trying to get healing or um, you know get well again but playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so I kind of feel like this is a message for you Virgo here in a romantic type of connection to just do your very best to not like stress too much um, not that you're stressing but I feel like something here is telling you um, try not to let anything get you down that's a real strong message here just take it easy with some kind of situation here hold on a second you guys okay um let me see what chinese sign do we have so you're definitely going to be getting some kind of romantic proposal or offer over the weekend um let's see what chinese sign we have here it's for you or this person okay so we have year of the rat somebody's a rat okay we have the rabbit year of the pig and just remember this could be you or it could be your person if it's neither don't worry about it it doesn't mean it's not your story we have year of the tiger year of the snake okay we have rat again so we have two rats we have year of the ox year of the horse we have tiger again so we could have two tigers year of the dog okay two oxes and year of the goat okay interesting all right let's see let me get a couple extra messages here for you your reading is going like straight it's so straightforward for you guys for the weekend it's beautiful I feel like I'm not going to pull any cards just for you, Virgo, because I feel like this weekend, your advice here is to just be playful and enjoy your life and have fun and stay in a positive mindset, no matter what's going on around you. Okay, just stay in a positive mindset. All right, let's see. Empire Tarot messages. If you guys want to get this deck, there is a link below the video. Oh, okay, we have two cards here. The struggle is over. Um, either for you or for this person okay there's transition the end of suffering is upon you out with the old in with the new the season in your life is transforming that's why you have winds of change here okay allow it to happen and go with the flow it's now time for change a lusty fiery spirit is coming in here this is the knight of wands someone's very passionate about you virgo wow um free-spirited someone it's a this is a very creative person someone's just like a, a very creative type of a person but like charging in with like nothing but passion nothing but passion for you this is beautiful okay learning a new skill this is this person three of pentacles energy somebody coming in they know how to like do something differently this time or just in life okay ghosted or blocked 
and future plans, choosing a path. Okay, somebody's blocking or ghosting someone, a past situation, done, over with, no more of that, it's done. Don't want to do it again, don't want to hear from somebody, and choosing a new path, making future plans here. Okay. All right, let's get into, see what signs and birth dates we have here. There's so many, it's like never ending. Okay. We're gonna do it all at once. We're gonna give it one big shuffly shuffle. All right. So we've got September 12th. Um, someone's born in 93. We have Aquarius. Taurus again, twice. We have another Virgo. Um, okay, we have July 10th. We have April 4th. We have somebody's birthdays in November. Um, something, may, something happened on April 21st, which was like last week. Maybe it was 421 or 420. Okay. Um, so we have someone. So September birthday. I'm pick. All right. We also, they're giving me Gemini and they're giving me Cancer. An Aries. Also a Leo and a Sagittarius. Okay. And I'm picking up a Pisces and a Libra. Okay. So somebody's birthday is on the 20th. I'm getting the 4th, the 18th, the 14th, the 2nd, the 10th. I'm getting somebody's born in 72. Somebody is 47 years of age. Okay, somebody's also 36. Um, I'm picking up October 9th. Okay, July 2nd. Did I say that? Oh, something major is happening um, on Independence Day this year. That's, the, yeah, something in Independence Day this year. Let me pick up and see what other signs we might have here. Okay, 310 phone numbers, area codes 936. Um, we've got somebody's birthday. We have November 5th, 6th, and 10th. Um, oh, we also have somebody is 30 or turning 30 this year or just turned 30. Um, and I'm also picking up August 30th. All right, let's see what other signs. Oh, we have 2014. That was a big year, significant year. Okay, feels like the same. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Sagittarius. Yep, Libra, Leo, Cancer. And last one, it's the same. Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay, if these don't... You know, if these aren't your person's, okay, so they're also giving me Capricorn and Scorpio. But if these don't resonate for you, don't worry about it. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. It's just for those of you who need to hear the message more specifically, okay? But it's definitely, you know, if it resonates for you, it's 100% your reading, so just let it be, okay? Um, just want to get a couple of moonology. Now, everybody was saying that the full moon, I think Eclipse is on May 16th. Okay, so I was definitely picking up full moon energy um, in yesterday's reading, but let's get some. Oh, somebody says, I wish I could take back my words. Who's that for? Because that just popped out of my deck. Somebody wants, to, somebody is trying to come in here and apologize to take back the things that they've said. 
All right, let's see what the Moonology messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay, the energy is gaining momentum. I feel like that's a mainstay with this card. Um, okay, take time to breathe out. All right, we have disseminating moon. You also have a waxing moon. Hold on one sec. Um, I feel like take time to breathe out. You're going to need to do a lot of exhaling. <laughs> like breathing in. Um, I feel like the exhale portion is talking about like, um, you know, exhaling is just as important as inhaling. But the exhaling part is pretty much exhaling all of some kind of toxic energy that you have to get rid of that you're still carrying around. Okay. Let me see. Okay, this one was these two want to shoot out. Personal issue reaches resolution. Very beautiful. Okay. Full moon in Cancer. That's the full moon. I don't know if it's in Cancer, and I'm not sure. But you're being asked here to step out of your comfort zone. That's your north node. That's what you have to work towards. Your north node energy is always the direction you need to go stepping out of your comfort zone over something this weekend. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think you are. Let me get one more, and then we're going to finish up the reading here. Nothing is yet set in stone, okay? So just take it easy. Take it a step at a time. When this, when this offer, proposal, or whomever is coming in here to try to make some kind of connection with you, when this comes in, Virgo, I feel like you're going to be a little bit like, what the, you know, you might be asked to do something with somebody that you may not feel comfortable doing. You might feel like you don't know if you can do this or you're not sure if you want to. Um, it may even for some of you coming out of your comfort zone might actually be shutting the door on somebody for the first time. That might not be something you're used to doing. You might be used to, with someone in particular, or someone that you feel is your twin flame, you might just be used to saying yes to somebody all the time. So whatever your comfort zone and whatever's going on in here, but wh whoever's coming in here making this offer, this love proposal, I mean, it's, I feel like it's gonna be exhilarating, you know? Um, I feel like your luck is gonna change for sure, and I want you to know that you have spirit watching over you throughout this situation, whatever it might be. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see how this weekend plays out for you, Virgo. Definitely leave me comments and let me know. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Love you. Take care.